So in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage the content of your PowerStore site, as well as add new pages and customize the main navigation and the footer. So once you're logged into the Store Manager, if you visit your live site, you'll notice CMS edit icons over every content area that can be edited using the PowerStore CMS. Simply select the area that you'd like to customize and you're taken straight to the appropriate area in the CMS to make your change. Once you've made the change you want, click Update, and you'll see that it's instantly updated on your home page. So you'll notice that these icons appear throughout PowerStore as long as you're logged into the Store Manager. Also, back in the Store Manager, if you choose the Content option from the main navigation, you'll be taken to the CMS where you can choose under the Content column any location that contains content that you can change. Choose location that contains the content you want to change, such as home page, and then click Edit to modify that content. So that's how you change the content throughout PowerStore. And you, there's a lot of default content that you'll want to go through and customize to be whatever you'd like it to be. Now let me show you how you can add new pages. There are three areas in the Store Manager CMS that allow you to add new pages. The Custom Pages section, the Footer Pages section, and the News section. The home page has been created to function dynamically so that it's easy for you to populate this with material. The recent news section, which can be used for anything that you'd like, will automatically be populated based off of new pages that you've added under the news template that's found in the CMS. By default, this is a news pod, but you can use this for a blog or anything that you want to regularly update your home page with, perhaps product announcements. So let me show you how you can create a new news article. So hover your mouse over the news template shown here and you'll see a green plus icon that allows you to add content. Click this icon and then enter a name for your article. And once you've added the article, you are given a content area and a header so that you can customize how this appears on the home page. So now this has been added to the CMS, click edit to change the header. And click update and when you navigate back to your home page you'll notice that that new article head that new article has been added to the top of the recent news pod so like I said you could use this for a blog you could use this to announce new products or changes to the company anything that makes sense to you now to customize the content for the article simply click the, click the icon and you'll be taken to the location in the CMS where you can update that content so that's how you create new news news articles so now let me show you how you can customize the main navigation. On your website you'll notice that there's a support option in the main navigation. The support page and the pages beneath that page are dynamically created based off of the pa custom pages template that is found in the CMS. Any pages that are created based off of this template will be automatically added to the support menu here. If you don't have a need for a support page and you want to use this link for a different page, you can change that here as well. Simply select the custom menu option and notice the menu label option which you can change for whatever to be whatever you'd like this page to be. For example, let's say you wanted it to be a management page. Click update and then back on your home page you'll notice that that link has now instantly been changed. And so to customize the content you could simply select this link and you'll be taken to the page where you can change the header and the content by simply clicking on the content area you wish to change. So now if you wanted to add a new page under your management link, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the custom pages template shown here and choose the add content plus icon, enter the name of your page, for example I'm going to enter memos, and back on the home page you'll notice that the memos link has been instantly added underneath the management page. You can also delete any of the pages that are listed here if you don't need this many pages. So, to, so if you'd like to delete the shipping page, simply hover your mouse over the shipping page to, to display the delete icon. And once deleted, that page instantly disappears from the navigation. And lastly, you can also customize and add pages to the footer navigation. As you can see here, we have a Terms of Use, Privacy Policy, and FAQ page Entered, entered by default in the footer. Back in the Store Manager content section, you'll notice there's a footer pages template that contains those three pages. 
All you have to do to add a new page is simply click the green plus icon next to the footer pages template, enter the content name that you'd like to use for this page, and then back on the live site, you'll notice that that page has been instantly added. All I have to do now, click the link, select the content area I wish to change the content for, and that page is ready to go. So that's how easy it is to customize the content on your website. Hope you found this video helpful. For um, more information on using PowerStore, check out our other videos and visit us at websys.com. Thank you very much.